Well, looks like I'm gonna have to call a dealer. Hey, hey. All right. Well, looks like we have a day off in between our blocks. We got one more block of this contract to do. But today is our reset, I guess. So I have, we have an airbag to fix. I had a leaking airbag. It's been leaking for a while, but on this last, um, on this last block, it was leaking really, really bad. And if you ever want to see a trucker's butthole clinch, it's the sound of leaking air, I swear. Cause I mean, yeah, it's coming from the cab airbag, but I just hate the sound of leaking air. So I'm gonna show you guys what I did to buy me some time to complete that, that trip, make it back home. I ordered a part on the trip. It came the next day from Amazon. And uh, yeah, so now we're gonna attempt to fix that. Hopefully I can do it here, I'm gonna try it. Um, but yeah, let's see, all right. All right, so this is the corporate. Yes, yeah, it's dirty back here. I tried to spray some of that, um, uh, what is it called? Fix the seal, flex the seal, whatever. I tried to spray it in here, but it got down here too, so I stopped. And I just unplugged the bag. Unplugged the bag, zip tied it, and that stopped the hissing sound. So today I'm going to try to replace this. I wanna do both of them, because I have both shocks. But it looks like I'm only gonna be able to do one today. Or at least try to, hopefully I can get her done. But uh, yeah, let's get it going. All right, guys, so it's very simple. But they made it so difficult. They got these two bolts and they got the same two bolts on the other side. But on the other side, you got restrictions. You can't get anything over here. See if I can. Let's see. So, where's my finger? Right behind this core, or this, whatever the heck this is, the bolts are right here behind it. But, there's one of these things right here blocking it. So, you can't get to that boat right here can't get to it well looks like I'm going to have to call a dealer <sighs> I wanted to get it done myself they made it so difficult those bolts there's two on the other side four bolts down here those two bolts then I can pry it out but, you know, I've seen some people with the whole, they took the whole gas tank off. And I'm not doing that. So it looks like I'm gonna have to go to a dealer or somebody. Alrighty. All right. So after a lot of cussing and, uh, Saying how stupid this is, because this thing was in my way. <sighs> I looked back, or I was thinking as I was recording, I was like, this is in my way, and this is... So I stuck my head in between here, and I looked at it. I was like, oh, this can come off. So I unscrewed this bolt, and this came off. Now I think... I can get to the screws. Yep, there they are right there. One and two. 
right here is one at the top two at the bottom so i'm gonna try to attempt to take that off and see if i can save myself a dealer trip all right guys look what we got out guys we got it out that's where it was at those are where the four bolts at to get to these two back bolts you have to take this thing off so this is at the top this thing here is at the top here and this part is at the bottom sorry here we go so this part right here is at the bottom here or is that the bottom on here sorry and you have to unscrew these first then that's going to come off and then it's going to allow you access to these screws back here um i took off after i figured that out i took out these two first this top one unscrewed the bottom one but left the pin in there and then at the top here i did these four screws i thought i was gonna have to do these two but i didn't so i did these four screws i did these two first and then i put this jack in to help um with the weight because all the weight was down now and lifted it up and then i got this bad boy right here and used it as like a, a flathead and i took this off and then i took this off all right let's get to putting it back on four hours in it took me three hours to figure out how to get these two screws out back here and i almost gave up if i would have known i just had to take these off first take that off then i would have been done probably two hours ago this, this right here is probably an hour job hour and a half if you have the right tools it can be 45 minutes It is hot. I had to take a break. Started at 11. It's 4.30. After I figured out how to get it out, I had to figure out how to take it out of this little sleeve thing. And then I had to put it back on. So I actually went to a mechanic that's right next door and asked them if they can help me. They had like a long flathead screwdriver um, to spread it open and then it slid on. Then I had to come back. It took me about an hour to compress the shock down to get it underneath the thing. Cause every time I press it down, it, it wants to go out the opposite way. So I had like a tool prying it down then I try to slide it underneath where the little bolts are hanging down. And right when I get it where I want it, it'll shoot out the other way. So I had to like, I got really, really, really upset and had to manhandle it up in there. I like pushed it down and just went ham on it. So that's what I just did. And I took all of my energy. I haven't even eaten yet. I thought this was gonna take like a good hour. This took my whole day. It wasn't even a day off. I spent the whole day working on my truck. But I will show you how it looks like. Now I just gotta put the bolts and stuff back on. All right, guys. All right, we got it on there somewhat. Now I gotta put that thing back on there. But I was using that and that to push the air back down. I did get the screws back in there. Just gotta tighten them back, back up. And then I am done. If this works, it works. If it doesn't, I don't care anymore. All right, guys. All right, guys. It's the moment of truth here. hear any leaks. That's the first good sign. Let's see. Hey, 
track is a lot longer than that one. Take off this little plate thing on the back. Take off these up here. Another little plate thing is gonna come off. These and get to these screws. You see all these nuts came from all the screws and stuff. But you know it's not hissing anymore. Definitely not filling back over there yet. I'll go home and chill, give me a cold beer. There we go. So it looks probably the same. Oh, nice. Yeah, I'm gonna switch that one next. I got that one in my uh, trunk, but I'm not doing that today. Another off day I'll do it. I like it. Definitely switching that one up next. Nice. I'm gonna call down to the dealer strip and see how much they're gonna charge me. Alright, guys.